Sunday is day 10 of competition at the Vancouver Olympics, but in terms of hockey, it doesn't get any better than what you're about to see. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. You've got the past three gold medal games all taking place in the preliminary round from Torino, Sweden, Finland, from Salt Lake City, the United States and Canada, and then from Nagano in 98, the Czech Republic and Russia. They're all going to meet on Sunday. Let's bring in our uh, CBSSports.com senior uh, hockey writer, Wes Goldstein, to break this down. And Wes, obviously in terms of positioning and, and trying to win group play, all three of these games are, are very important uh, in trying to get seating for the qualification round. But what about just the mere emotions of these three games? Well, I think that's really critical because really when you come down to these games, the Olympics, this is what the players are playing for. There's pride, there's emotion, there's the love of the country. This is not about money for any of these guys. This is about what's real and playing the game for, for its purest sense. And these are, these are real rivalries for these guys. Going back to Europe and, and the, you know, the North American rivalry, these teams have uh, an intensity that there's going to be sh uh, coming through on Sunday. And I think you're going to see some pretty good action. And the Americans have said that there's – no misunderstanding about it. They know that they will be absolutely hated come Sunday uh, against Team Canada and, and much throughout the tournament. But in, in terms of this game, there's this feeling that, you know, maybe the U.S. is right there with Canada despite all the young players going up against all the stars that the Canadians have because of the 3-2 shootout win that the Canadians had to have against the Swiss. Do you feel that way? Well, that was a pretty <laughs> intense game for Canada. I think there's a lot of people up north that are breathing a sigh of relief today that they actually escaped with a win in that game. But I think you have to look at, at the Americans and say, you know, this team won its two games against teams it was supposed to beat, and there's no question they did what they had to. But I think in both cases they played kind of a risky game, and there were some flaws in, in the way they played. There was a lot of jumping in the play by defensemen. They took a lot of chances uh, overall up front and, and, and the back end. They ended up giving up a lot of odd man rushes and two on two on ones, three on twos. That's not the kind of thing they'll get away with against a team like Canada, which has the finishers that Norway and Switzerland does not. Uh, unbelievable superstars on this Canadian roster, and uh, we'll see if they can uh, unleash all those guys uh, come Sunday. In terms of goaltending, Ryan Miller will be in net for the United States. Mike Babcock has announced it'll be Martin Brodeur, the same goalie that started the game against Switzerland, but not Roberto Luongo, who started against Norway. You think that's the right decision? I think it is. I think, you know, the idea, a lot of people were surprised that Brodeur didn't get the opening start, but Babcock's explanation was that Luongo it plays in Vancouver during the regular season. This is a chance to be in front of the home crowd. And the reality was Luongo was playing a little better coming into the games than Brodeur was in the last couple of weeks. But Brodeur is a veteran. He's been there before. He has every record that you need to have as a goaltender in the NHL. And he has experience. He showed how he handles himself under pressure in a shootout against Switzerland. And I think, you know, in that case, you want the guy who's been there before, and that's the go-to guy. All right, what about the, the rematch of last year's gold medal game, Sweden and, and Finland? What are you most looking forward to seeing that one? Well, certainly I'm interested in seeing how Peter Forsberg play even more. I mean, he, you know, he's back in this tournament. It's the first time we've seen him in North America in, in I guess, uh, probably two years right now. And he looked good in his first game. And, you know, where he's at and, and what this team can do because this team has a lot of NHL uh, quality players. It's, it's basically an entirely, uh, made up of entirely of NHL players. And the Swedes are the kind of the team that nobody's talking about, even though they're the gold medal champions from last time. So I think to see how they handle themselves and prepare themselves to go into the uh, the qualification and playoff round is going to be really interesting. And Tamu Sulani, in terms of for the Finns, depending on what happens in their second game here on Friday, he may either already be the all-time Olympic points record holder or he may have a chance to pass that uh, uh, come Sunday in this game against Sweden. And the other one, uh, you said you're looking forward to seeing Peter Forsberg uh, for Sweden. you got to be looking forward to seeing even more of Yarmir Yager for the Czech Republic against the Russians. Oh, absolutely. And Yager, I think, really, you know, he's the kind of guy that throughout his career could carry a team on his shoulders. You wonder if he can still do it at age 38, but given the way he played in the first game and the enthusiasm that he is taking into this Olympic tournament, just the way he came up during the original, the opening ceremonies, carrying the team flag and everything, this guy is excited to be here. He's excited to be back in North America. And who knows, it may be a prelude to seeing him back in the NHL for one last swan song. Maybe. That's, that's certainly something to think about. It's also a huge game for the Russians after losing to Slovakia uh, in a shootout on Thursday night. Wes Goldstein, thank you very much. Sunday should be great. We appreciate it. But We'll look forward to talking to you again. All right, folks, for more uh, on these three games and, and everything that Wes is uh, writing about them and the entire Olympics men's hockey tournament, keep it right here with CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.